everyone, so today's video is going to be um, something a little bit different. I was just scrolling through YouTube last night and I saw that Nikki Tutorials had uploaded a challenge and it's the Google Chooses My Makeup Challenge and I thought that would be quite fun so I thought um, I'd make a video on it. I hope you enjoy. For this challenge you use your first initial of your first name and the first initial of your last name followed by the word look to get an inspiration for your makeup look. So I'm going to go on and just enter my initials, so that's C, T, and then look. And I'm just going to go and do Google Images, and I have a bunch of C, T scans. So I'm just going to go to the first one, which is this. So it's really just black, white, and a lot of different shades of grey. So I'm going to use this photo to get inspiration for my makeup look today. And not think too much about what it's a photo of. <laughs> so I hope you really enjoy this video. If you do, please do subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and then I'll know to create more videos like this one. And I'm let's just get started. So my image is this beautiful oil obstruction. <laughs> so I'm going to draw inspiration from that and I feel like I want to do quite a Nikki tutorial style cut crease, like quite a high one, full crease, but I don't really have a lot of room up here, so it's not something I've attempted before and I thought I would try it. I was going to do my make like one eye off camera, but then I thought it might be a bit more interesting for you guys if um, you just follow through the creation process with me. I'm going to put my hair up. So I'm first going to go into my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette and take this shade here which is the shade Magnet. I'm just gonna run that through my crease. I don't have a lot of grey eyeshadows, it's not really a colour I tend to go for so this will be a bit of a challenge in itself just going for those shades instead. So just picking some up in the brush and dabbing it on first of all just sort of above my crease and then using my brush just to blend it out. This is a Zoeva 224. Just taking my large buffing brush, buffing over the edges. Like the start of a Halloween makeup, but I'm determined to make it pretty. Just taking a little bit of a time and just blending it further along. You'll see I'm keeping this quite high up because I am going to be creating like a cut crease kind of shape. So I'm going to go in with this sort of blue toned grey here and just sort of create like a wee bridge in between and then I'm going to go in with the black and apply this to the outer edge. Then going back to my 224 and I'm just going to blend over those. I'm 
Then back to my little dent brush and I'm just going to buff over that edge. And then going in with a MAC 217, I'm going to take that black shade and just apply that on the outer, on the outer corners. I'm going to use this black to sort of come out of it as well. And just keep reapplying with the <laughs> just keep reapplying with the black to build up the color. And then blend it out with your wee dense brush. I'm gonna actually dip this brush into a bit of a um, neutrally skin tone shade just to help make a smooth blend. I think I've changed my mind instead of the grading going this way I think I want the grading to go up because the black was really harsh along the edge so I'm going to try and have a black just right along here where I'm going to cut the crease and then as it goes up change it to like that lighter grey shade that I use in the other corner Going back to my 225 into the bluey grey shade. I kind of forgot to get um, more of the colours to have names. <laughs> and then just blend that over the top. Yeah, back to my 224 and into the magnet shade and just lightly fluffing that over that edge. camera there and finished doing this eye I just wanted to sort of gather my thoughts and get a clear path to where I wanted to go with this look because I was feeling a bit um, dodge at the way it looked right now <laughs> so I'm just going to show you now on this eye um, what I did to get it to look to here so I first just took a little wipe and cleaned up this outer corner just to make it sort of quite um, a sharp line doesn't really matter where you make it to, just don't bring it up too, too high. And then, on a small sweep of a brush, just this little smudger brush, I'm going to go in with my NARS concealer and just um, carve out the crease. I went quite higher than my natural crease so that you could still um, see it when my eyes were open. on a small little detailing brush like this I'm first going into the shade magnet that we first applied and I'm going to use that just to sort of define this crease area a little bit more and then I'm going to start to mix it in with a wee bit of the blackjack shade and the closer to the outer edge I get
just sort of using this to really perfect that um, cut crease and just carve out any areas you don't like the look of. And then I'm just going back in with the concealer and again tidying it up to make it a smooth line. I'm just going to take my flat shadow brush and go in to the shade blue mixed with premium yellow beneath it and just pat this in the lid. And then I'm going to take my Kat Von D ink liner and just draw um, some winged liner. It's hard to get the shape of this outer corner until you have your liner on. Now that I have that liner on, I can see that I need to go back in and just sort of lift this portion of the concealer a wee bit. So just going back in. It's just sort of a game of going back in and fixing it up until it's what you want it to look like. Now that I've got that the way I sort of want it to be, I'm going to go back in with that wee brush and just deepen it up using the shades Magnet and Blackjack from that Urban Decay palette. Just blending that out using a pencil brush and the shade Magnet. And into a clean 224 and blending that out as well. Add a little bit of sparkle to the lid. I'm going to go into this silvery blue shade. I'm going to focus this on the center of my lid and just sort of blend it out to either side. And then to highlight the inner corner, I'm going into this bright white shade. And I'm just going to dust off the extra and then apply a little tiny point to that shade in my brow bone. Blending that with my finger as well. So to finish up the eyes, I'm going to go into my Urban Decay um, waterline pencil and just line my waterline. And then on a pencil brush, I'm going to take the shade Magnet and just blend that into the lower lash line. And then into the shade Blackjack, and I'm just going to repeat that step as well. I'm just going to use roller lash to coat my lashes. I 
Um, for lashes, I'm going to use my Huda Beauty Samantha lashes. And then I'm going to go off camera and apply some foundation. So this is the finished look. If you're wondering what is on my lips, it is the Urban Decay 24-7 Blackout or 24-7 Glide On liner, just the black one that you use for your eyes. And then I use the Rimmel and um, Stay Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Pitch Black. And then a little bit of MAC Soft Frost Highlighter just dabbed on my lips. Um, and I actually really love how it turned out. I hope you have liked this look. It is something very different than what I've ever done before and what um, else is on my channel. So I hope you've enjoyed the change and I have really enjoyed doing this challenge. Do let me know in the comment box below if you like this look or if you think you would ever wear it or what you, what you think. I would love to know your thoughts and let me know if you're going to try this challenge at home as well. And let me know um, if you do, just if it's you upload a video on Instagram, if you just hashtag Charlotte Touch Makeup, I'll be able to find it. And I would love to see your recreations. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a great big thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos.